Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem was released back in August of 2023. It was directed by Jeff Rowe and was written and produced by Seth Rogen, among others. In this retelling of the TMNT story, we see the turtles longing for a life outside of both the sewer and the shadows. They team up with a young aspiring journalist named April O'Neil to unwind a series of crimes committed by a mysterious figure known as Superfly. Now this film has been out for a few months now and has already been released to streaming and released on physical media, but it's still going to be a spoiler free review just in case there are those of you that have not yet seen the film. But if you haven't seen the film, I would definitely recommend going to check it out. Now here's my thoughts. The story was actually really good and very heartfelt on occasion, and I love the use of pop culture references. There were a great mix of references from both my generation and the current one, and the humor overall was pretty decent. I first went into this thinking that the humor would be a little more newer than what I'm used to, but I actually chuckled out loud several times and there were at least a couple of families in the theater with me that were laughing out loud and having a great time, and on that note, I also thought that this was actually a fun family film. I like that it was including elements from the classic TMNT origin while adding something new to the table. And I like that it feels like a unique beginning to the turtle story as we're getting a villain that's a little out of the norm and not just immediately throwing in villains like Shredder or Krang. And honestly, I felt like that gave us the start of a story that has potential to grow into something interesting and compelling. Now the animation was pretty good. At first, I thought it was trying to be a knockoff of the animation from the Spider-Verse films, but I thought it was actually pretty unique and distinctive. And I love the design of the characters, especially the turtles. But I do kind of wish that they would stop giving Donatello glasses. I get what they're trying to go for, but I'm just not a fan of it. And on that note, how are those glasses even staying on? I mean, especially after all the acrobatics they do, he doesn't even have any noticeable ears. Alright, I'm done nitpicking. So as for the cast, I thought the actors did a great job. Not only did they sell their own performances as the Turtles, but the chemistry between all the characters was just all there. And not just with the Turtles. The chemistry between the supporting characters was pretty decent as well. I don't have a lot of negatives for the film, but there are some things I think I personally was a little mixed about. Now again, this was a very unique take on the Turtles, or at least from my perspective. So some of the things that they tried in this was just a little new to me. And personally, I was okay with some of the changes that they made, except for a couple. One of the big ones is, I'm not sure I'm a fan of the idea that Splinter and the Turtles learned martial arts from kung fu movies and instructional videos. I will say it was better than Splinter learning martial arts from a book that he found in the sewer from the 2014 film. Now, not to spoil anything here if you guys haven't seen this movie yet, but when it came to certain characters being portrayed as heroes when traditionally they are villains was just a little different. Now, I'm not going to speak too negatively about it, just because this film definitely sets up for a sequel, and I believe it was mentioned that a TV series is in the works too, so I'm just going to wait to see how some relationships or characters change. So while I thought some changes was okay, I can definitely see where some of you devout fans of the Ninja Turtles will probably not be cool with. But I will say that I did enjoy Superfly as a villain. He was both humorous and intimidating, and I enjoyed Ice Cube's performance of him. So do I recommend that you guys check out Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem? I'm going to say, yeah. It's already streaming and available in physical media. It's a fun story with great animation, great music by Trett Reznor and Atticus Ross, has great direction, and of course a great and talented cast. But while I thought the film was funny, I will say there's probably some moments where some of you may not care for, especially if you're not a fan of vomit or gross humor. I'm going to give Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem a B plus. Thanks so much for checking out my review, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Now, I will also let you know that there is actually a novelization that was written for this film. Uh, my buddy Matthew over there at the Geek Static already read the novelization and reviewed it on his channel. I'm going to post a link to where you can go check out that review. But guys, thanks again so much for checking out this review. Hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you next time.